Alright, what's up party people? Let's play some Minecraft. It's gonna take forever to load, but when it loads it will be good. Minecraft progress. There we go. All right. Let's get back to it. This part also takes a minute. Forgot about that. There we go. And now we just need to give it a minute while it loads the terrain too. This side now, this side now. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, also, I was looking it up just now, and I think we can have the music on without being shut down by the government. Let's see. Hmm. We want to get more apples and make more apple trees. So we'll have to go find some more apple trees and we'll get rid of all these other trees that we don't want like this one. Because we don't want all these other annoying trees everywhere that aren't nearly as cool. Thank you for the oak sapling nerd. That in our inventory. We'll get rid of all this grass too. a very very nice village here but we could make it even better uh, give me some apples baby there we go let's get rid of this tree right here get rid of all these standard oak trees chop this thing down go. Fix this path up a little bit. That's already looking a lot better. You know, this is our place now. We gotta look after this village. Keep Take care of it and stuff, you know? May even want to build like a big wall. We'll make it like, uh, like Ba Sing Se. We'll have multiple walls around it and then we can expand the uh, the size of the village over time, protect it from invasions from the Fire Nation and all that jazz. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Look at this outfit: compressed iron helmet, dyed leather tunic, 
no no shoes. Uh, I mean, do you want to keep picking up any of the saplings that these uh, trees drop? A red Quran. We need the apples to make more apple trees. So we'll get rid of all this. Uh, oh, this is uh, this is a mess here. Let's clean this up if we can. There we go. That's better. Uh huh. Up this path a little bit. It's very loose here. There we go, that's better. The road is very unkempt. Uh, give me some of that dirt actually. Fix this up a little bit. have this apple tree. Oh wait, you're an orange tree. Okay. We'll go ahead and chop you down because you're kind of in the way of this path here. Uh, give me those oranges so I can eat those up. Because we won't be needing oranges where we're going. Apple world, baby. Oh my god, is that a whole birch forest over there? Is this oil? It's actually, there's just oil here. Oh, sir. We're gonna have to conduct a rescue operation here. There you go. There you go, sir. This is our quaint little village here, and we're gonna take good care of it. The hell is a verdant sprig? Whoops, I accidentally broke that. Plant that. A seedy place. I've harvested so many different plants already, but I haven't actually planted anything yet. Alright, get rid of this orange tree here. Fix up our path a little bit more. What the hell is that? Elderberry. Clears potions when eaten? Your mother was a hamster, and your father smelt of elderberries. Uh, and then it looks like the path sort of turns this way. There we go. Get that nice and established there. Okay. This seems pretty good so far. Getting this place cleaned up, getting it mapped out a little better. It doesn't have much going for it at the moment. Where did all that grass come from? Oh yeah, this is already looking way, way better. It just needs a little bit more refining. Some of our apple trees have bloomed, hell yeah. Apples, baby, apples. What's up, scientist looking dude? Give me some more of those apples, baby. That's what I'm here for. Oh yeah. Apple City, Apple City, bitch. Skeleton. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There might be a cave beneath us or something. Uh -huh. I have to figure out what that's about. First, let's dump all this crap in here. Get some of these out so we can eat those. Uh, we'll eat some bread. We do have a shovel still. We are getting wood from this, which is good, because we need that. Uh, okay. Fix up the path by our house some more. We should probably get a road that takes us to the swamp. That would probably make sense. Considering once we chop down all these other trees over here in the plains by our village, we're going to have to go out to the swamp and chop trees over there a bunch. Oh yeah, 
Now that's a trail. We're going to have to make some uh, <clears throat> stairs around the place as well. Huh. Put all this in our inventory. Huh. Huh. Alright. Back to it. So, let's keep this three wide. Five head. There we go. Pull this. Fix this road up a little bit. That's much better. Okay. So, uh... Oh, dude, you know what would be fucking sweet? Is if we made this into, like, a little bridge. <laughs> we'll make this go underneath this other path here. Like this. And we'll have, like, a little path that goes out towards the swamp like that. One, two, three, so then this will be the other side here. Oh, we found some coal too, that's cool. And so now we'll have a cute little bridge right here. Very nice. Uh, and if we want, we can even, like, go out right here. Turn this into another path that makes us, in case we want to go on that bridge, we can just go around onto it. Dump all this in here. We'll keep the dirt on us, because we might need it for some path making. Uh, we'll need some more shovels, for sure. Bam. Bam. Put that away. Okay. Huh. Ooh, another apple tree? Hell yeah. Oh my god, so many apples. Love it. Oh, and some more apple trees. Apples. Apples, apples, apples. Got some apples up here. Thank you very much. Get a load of this apple. We can refine this plaza a little bit here. That's looking a lot better now. Nice big open plaza here. Uh, fix this. There we go. Get out of here. Uh, this one didn't really grow that good. Actually, it's got three on that side. we we'll just do that. There we go. We can get access to those top apples there. Yoink. And this apple tree here is looking very nice. Plenty of apples. Oh, and you know what? We should totally make more iron golems, too, to protect this place. That would be good. We have so many apples. I love it. Oh, wow. The game didn't like looking this way. Uh, okay. So this is the path right here. <coughs> we got another one going this way. Like that, okay. <clears throat> Get rid of this orange tree over here, but we'll pick the oranges for eating right now. While we're still building up our apple stock. <clears throat> excellent, excellent. More wood, that's good. Nice, nice, more food. Put that away. Keep the food on our hot bar for now. Um, did that just drop a sapling? Yes. We do want to get at least one sapling per tree to keep up our uh, trees to apple trees conversion rate, you know? 
picking of flowers. Wonderful. I love it. I love picking flowers. Okay. Uh, got some more oranges. God damn. Oh, I know. These are peaches. Peaches, oranges, apples. This place is like a whole garden of Eden, dude. Oh, look at those peach flowers. That's nice. I like that. Might make uh, peach trees later, maybe. We'll see. Okay. Chop down some of this tall grass while we're out here. Pick some more flowers, because that's always fun to do. Thank you, thank you. It's about high noon right now. It's high noon. These are apples. Keep this apple tree here. <clears throat> Get rid of this orange tree. Apple, apple, apple. From all of us to you. Apple, apple, apple. Another apple tree. I woke up today and I was like, I've got to play Minecraft. I got to play it. I had an amazing dream last night. It was like a fully made, uh, unaired uh, Avatar The Last Airbender episode. And you know how normally when you dream, you get like, your dream just sort of fills in the background and everything with just void and stuff, and you usually just have like subjects in the foreground? This one was like full rendered scenes and everything. My brain was on maximum overdrive. And it was a pretty good it was a pretty good episode that my that my brain was making. The only problem was that it didn't really have any uh there was like no antagonist or conflict that I had been introduced before I woke up. So they were just like visiting the city. Uh, and they were like, wow, this city's really cool. And also there was this one other character that my brain just invented and wasn't actually in the show. Besides that, it was pretty fucking sweet. I was just watching Avatar The Last Airbender while I was sleeping, basically. Pretty fucking nice. Just a hole here. We're gonna have to patch that up. We're gonna have to put in a word with the city, have that hole uh, all filled in there, that pothole. Loads of apples. Oh my god, so many apples. There we go. Digging out the leaves so we can get access to all these delicious, delicious apples. Oh, there's the music. Oh, yeah. We have a whole stack of apples. Oh my god. Do you know how much longer that would have taken in vanilla Minecraft to get? We would have had to chop down an entire forest to get, like, just half the half that of apples, dude. But here we are, rolling in apples, dude. It's pretty fucking sweet. Uh, let's get some of our flowers out. Some of these. Some of those. Some of these. Some of those. Oh yeah, get some flowers up in here, let's mix in some other ones real quick, that's better, make it a little more neat and interesting, put it right there, let's replace that with that, two of you there, 
All right. Let's throw you down, you down. Uh, did I get any more flowers? We have some of these ones. The dandelions. So many dandelions. I remember when these weren't even called like actual flower names, and they were just called yellow flower, red flower. That's that's some OG Minecraft shit right there. Make this like a little dandelion patch right here. Uh oh, it's night time. Time to go to bed. Before all the monsters come out and attack us. And attack our village. I definitely don't want to lose any villagers. I'm definitely hoping we can uh, get this place built up. Uh, we definitely want torches. And in order to start making torches, we're going to need a lot of coal. Like, a lot of coal. So we could get some cobble. Okay, let me put away all this stuff that's confusing my brain. I have like five brain cells and they need to be focused right now. Let's put all of that away. Okay, so we're going to put down all of our flowers. Uh, around our house, like so. There we go. And I wish dandelions weren't so plentiful, I don't like them. There we go. And one of you there. Okay. So we've established a good food source. Now we need now we need to build. So we'll finish this little path here to the swamp and then we'll pick up that coal. Nice little swamp path. Get this to be a straight shot out. And it'll be pretty fucking sweet. Alright. There we go. Let's clean this up a little bit. Still got a shovel. Okay, good, good. Refine all this pathway. Good, good. Let's, uh, I, I also just hate this copper, so we're just gonna get rid of that. We'll replace it later if we want. Actually, we could just throw some dirt down in the meantime. Uh, yes, shovel. Okay, now we have at least some coal, but we're going to need way more coal than that. Uh, we probably don't even need this archway here. There we go, that's a little bit better. We can totally hear a skeleton, dude. This, this is bugging the hell out of me too. Oh, wait a minute, hang on, hang on. That's probably where that skeleton is, down there. Is this like a little hidden cave here? Not here. Dude, there's like... You can hear them and you can see it in the uh, subtitles. That's why I like subtitles, it helps me find out where things are. Okay, well we filled in that annoying hole right there. Uh, we could make a hole that goes under here. Sure, this I want a, like a tunnel thing here. I really want one. So we'll make like a tunnel thing. <laughs> make it go in one. And then I want to make some doors to go over like right here. You know? It'll, it'll look better once I actually do it. Do it, do it, Roger, do it. Did someone just drink a soda? Okay, let's get a couple of doors real quick. Uh, wow, we, we oh, that's all of our coal that I just put in there. We don't have any extra coal. Oh, I just realized I haven't even made a sword yet. 
Do we have any iron? We have compressed iron. Can I make a sword out of that? No. This guy is like making shit. Okay. We now have a sword. That's good. Let's get some more shovels because we are using so many shovels. Alright. Let's put that cobble away for now. I don't know what I need compressed iron for, but we'll figure out something for that. Oh, you know what? We should we should probably make some uh, some torches actually, since we're going to be going underground here. So let's get some sticks. There we go. Just a, just enough torches to keep this little tunnel we're going to make lit. Fam, it's lit, fam. Okay, so let's open this block, and I want to have like a double door like that. And then from here we'll have like a nice little diagonal style tunnel. Check that out. Oh, and it does the double door effect thing with it too. That's cool. I like that. That's pretty neato. You can't look at me and tell me that's not neato. Uh, we got the whole tunnel down here as well. That's going to be our mine shaft eventually when we start really mining. For now, we're still trying to figure out where these skeletons are coming from. Okay. So, I guess now we'll go ahead and make a turn here. Okay, this is all stone now. Oh my god, more coal. Hell yeah. There's a skeleton, like, right here, dude. I, I swear to god, dude, the skeleton is gonna drive me nuts. Where are you? Mr. Skeleton Man, where the fuck are you? Sounds like he's above me now, but that's like impossible because. Really relying on this surround sound right now. Okay, good thing we still have another pickaxe. Where'd he go? Did he despawn? I don't hear him anymore. Cleric works. It's not up. There must be like a tiny, like, two block gap underground here or something. Oh, I hear him. Oh, he sounds so close. Is he below? It's gotta be below. Also, we found more coal, so that's awesome. It's gotta be below. I'm like right on top of the skeleton. I can't see him though. There it is. We found it. Okay, okay. Fucking cave, man. up with this cave. It is particularly annoying. Oh my god, I can't get down to him. Because <laughs> it's doing this. It's doing this annoying diagonal shit. I need to go the opposite way. I'm gonna have to make a staircase back up, but 
I'm just gonna jump down for now. I'll throw a torch down there so I can see because he's gonna start shooting me. Oh, or not. Oh, it's just this fucking area that we've already seen before. Oh my god, those are creepers. Okay, holy shit. Well, that was a that was a big oopsie. Ow. I really fucking goofed that up. I got stuck on the terrain. This annoying ass cave down here. Just so much coal, dude. Oh my god. Oh, we're out of torches. Zinc. And I can't mine it with this. Uh, okay, well now we have a giant fucking... <laughs> uh, twisty thing that goes down here. Big tunnel we dug out. Um... Is it already about to be nighttime? Oh my god, it is. We spent that whole day just looking for that fucking skeleton. I was in. That turned out to be in that open cave that we already saw before. It's important we skip the night every time by sleeping, because if we don't, then a bunch of monsters are gonna spawn and kill all of our villagers, which I really don't want to happen. Gunpowder door. Die. So I want to build a wall, and I want to get a bunch of torches, uh, and light up the place as well. We're gonna torch the place. Bunch of floating gravel here. Uh, okay, here we go. <coughs> All the coal that we can because it's very important for lighting this place up and it's a lot easier than burning a bunch of wood to make charcoal because that will take forever to chop enough wood to do that we could but then we would just never end up mining which is really sucky I haven't seen like any iron though, which I guess doesn't really prove the point that we should be mining for coal. Maybe we should just make charcoal. Maybe we should just chop down a billion trees instead. It would certainly be easier than this. Terrifying donkey sounds. Excellent, excellent. We're also getting XP. We're level 6 right now. Okay, I need to go make some torches with what we have right now. And I kind of want to make a tunnel that goes under our house and connects to all the different villager houses, because I think that would be cool. Um, I can't mine it with a stone pickaxe. Wow, that is some tough shit in the ground right there. Okay, that's a lot of torches now. And uh, you know what? I'll I'll do it. I'll burn some logs. Um down here and throw a torch there because it's kinda dark. Really need to make sure that no monsters spawn here. That's important. There we go. Every one coal we get is four torches, which is just fantastic. Now, what do we want to make our wall out of? We could make it out of cobblestone, but that would be really ugly. I want to make it out of a fancier material than cobblestone. If we could find, like, something like andesite or something like that to mine instead, that would be cool. Make a big wall out of that, but that would take a long time and a lot of andesite. 
whereas cobblestone and stuff like that is a lot more plentiful. Okay, let me take all this crap that I don't know anything about and put it into the chest next to this. Uh, so we have a chest of crap I don't know what to do with. Uh, this... Wait, can't you uncompress this? No, that's just how you make it. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure you can uncompress that stuff, but... Okay, I want the coal. This, this, all this can go. Yeah, all that can go in there. Okay. Uh, that, that can also go in here. Okay. Now I have things in here that I actually kind of sort of know what to do with. We need uh, pickaxes. Also, am I doing this in a badly non-efficient way? Can I burn planks instead? Uh, let's get a lot more stone pickaxes because iron apparently is not going to be very uh, plentiful at the moment. There we go. A lot more tools, we need those. Ah, okay. That is the more efficient way to do this. Burn planks. There we go. Okay. Well, now I'm out of wood. I burnt all my wood, so, uh. Damn it. Uh. Okay. Start putting some torches around town. We're gonna fucking torch the place. We want to keep everything very much nice and illuminated, so we know monsters can spawn and terrorize our villagers. Let this road go around the cleric's place. There we go. We want torches around the farm. That's important. plaza here, we got the bridge. Uh, is this the most efficient use of torches? No, but it's it's much faster than trying to find out the exact perfect uh, distance to put all the torches. We could even make a, a hut in, in the ground here, or a path to our underground area. Hmm. We're gonna have like a whole underground village too, underneath our above ground village. Can I even make a floating village? That might be cool. So we'll have like the initial village on an inner city wall. I've never heard this Minecraft song before. This might be added by like a mod pack or something, I don't know. Um, and if it is, hopefully it doesn't make my YouTube thing get copyright destroyed. I'm just trying to enjoy Minecraft. Oh shit, I don't think we went upstairs. Yo, he's got a hole upstairs. Leather strips, a leather cap, wool trim. I like that light blue. That looks nice, actually. Uh, keep throwing some torches around here. I'm kind of just trying to illuminate an inner city area. Oh my god, everyone's around the city square right now. This whole area is also going to be inside the walls because there's a house all the way out here. We're going to need a very big wall, but this will keep everyone protected. 
so it'll be worth building. Alright. Let's build all this into a wall. This is some very epic music. This is the foundational moments here in our village. Um, we got like a. Do we want to include that in the city or do we want to like have it outside? I'm not sure. Maybe. I guess we'll put it in the city. We'll put it, we'll put it on the inner city wall here. Where it's the city center. Just gotta put all this shit together with some torches. Damn, dude, the sun's already setting again. I just heard more skeletons around here. The classic underground skeleton. Hey, what's with the door being open? Close that. Okay. This is looking much, much more secure. So if I forget to sleep, hopefully it won't be as devastating. Go ahead and take a quick nap in this house. Uh, whenever the game lets us. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Need some more berries. What about this old root? I can eat old roots. Okay, cool. So that's also food. Nice. Does that make anything? I don't know. We'll have to see what we can make with old roots. Um, yeah, we can we can put a... Oh, you know what? The wall would look pretty sweet on top of this hill. We'll have this be a city split here. Oh, I got a, I got a really cool idea. We'll have the wall go up on this hill, right? But then we'll have like an underground... Uh, a little underground hall where you can cross under the wall. A hall to go under the wall. So the wall will go across here, right by our house. Uh, the wall is going to go, it's going to cross that area with the bridge and everything, and go right next to that city square. It'll wrap around that far house, and then it's a pretty straight shot from that far house all the way to that house, and then we'll bring it back around that animal pen over there and then bring it around here and then connect it back up here and then we'll build like an underground hallway here that will be it'll probably have like a staircase to go up because if you just make it a straight hall the only point it's going to be able to reach the other side is going to be all the way over here but that also might be cool because that means we could have a whole under underground inside this hill village that would be sweet. That would be pretty cool, actually. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. And it could also connect up to the tunnel that we're going to have under the house. Decisions, decisions. So that's the... F yeah, this... That's the floor of the house right there. So if I go in, how many blocks do I need to go in? One or two? I need to go in two, and then on the third block go up. So one, two, three. Broke my shovel. Okay, right here is where our house is. So we can dig out all these blocks that say dirt. We don't want to dig out a grass block. Because then that'll be the surface. We also found a bunch of coal down there, which is pretty sweet. So my goal, my mango, is to blow up. My goal with this is to be able to have a section of the house 
underground. I can't dig this. I need an iron pickaxe at least, I think. Hopefully we can dig it with an iron pickaxe. If not, it's going to be real annoying. But we're going to have our house go down in floors instead of up. That way we can maintain the style of the village. But when we make new village places like outside of the first wall, we'll, we'll make them like bigger, fancier buildings and stuff like that. And I'll need to look up how to uh, get villagers to populate and stuff like that. We can have this little slit here where we can see see the village. Oh, I can't put a torch on that block. That's weird. But now we have the light coming in here. Basically just outlining the whole underground of our house. Uh, and then we can make a whole floor down here. We'll add a door as well. Huh. Let's, I do have a door. We do have a leftover door because remember it made three and we used two. So we can take this door. It's important we put doors everywhere. There we go. We got a door here. Actually, let's... Make it indented like that. There we go. Now when the villagers jump out up here, it'll be easier for them. I do need to replace that real quick since I'm gonna mine it out anyways for the uh, the coal. Okay, cool. Thank God I made so many shovels. <laughs> Here's the edge of the house. Wow, we have when you lay out the floor like this, our house is a lot bigger than I thought. Although I guess this is technically one block wider than the house because the walls of the house are right here on this outer edge. So this this floor is actually going to be one block uh, wider than the house in every direction. Have this be three blocks tall. And I'll have to figure out how to connect it to the tunnel. We need. Oh, we have coordinates in the top right by the minimap. Perfect. Oh man, it is chugging for some reason. I have no idea why. We can probably decrease our render distance a little bit. Let's make it like ten chunks. I don't need simulation distance at all. I don't know what that is, but we'll get rid of that. There we go. I think that helped a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Oh, and uh, is there like V-Sync? V-Sync is on, okay. Max frame rate, 120, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That all seems pretty good. Entity, distance, I don't know what that is. We'll make that. We can actually shrink that down. Biome blend. We got rid of biome blend. Fastest. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a much smoother frame rate. Holy crap. I say and then there's a giant stutter while I'm just jumping around. Uh, I don't have any shader packs on this. Uh, where is where would that where would shader packs be? Video it wouldn't be under here, would it? No. Auto save indicator. There's auto saves. Charcoal. Oh yeah, we need more wood. That's why we don't have so many torches anymore. Wood. Okay, well we know old roots are food, so we'll take those. We'll put our flowers away for now, we'll plant those later. We don't need all this dirt, put the coal away. Put that away. No 
Uh. Old roots are through now, so old roots can go in the uh, shit we know what to do with. Chest. Uh. And. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized we can use these iron nuggets. Well, I can make one iron bar, which isn't very helpful, but it's. I guess it's something. Wow, that's a lot of recipes that need iron ingots. God damn. Gold ingot as well. A lot of recipes popping up there. Oh, wow. What is this? I just. Dark theme? Oh, yeah. Oh, that only does it for this over here. It doesn't do it for the main menu. More options. Oh, God. Appearance? Oh, this is just for NEI. Ah, uh, it's just for this this over here. I would like a dark theme for this, the main menu. That would be cool. The inventory menu. Uh, a little more charcoal there. Okay. Uh, we definitely need to... Um, we need iron, and we need wood, but in order to get iron, we're going to have to go mining and stuff. Uh, is there anything interesting nearby? Not really. Is this a peach tree? Yeah, it's an or orange tree, yeah. Harvest some oranges, and then chop it down. So we need the wood, we need the saplings to make more apple trees. Our city is going to be filled with apple trees, of course. A wood wall, a wood wall would look very homey and cozy, but it would also be very expensive to make. Um, we could... Oh, you know what would make it look a lot better and like a village? Um... Oh. Oh, dude, do these apple sprouts make two apples? Oh my god, we might need to put that on every tree too. I mean, you have to manually replant them. I tried right-clicking and it didn't work, but still, like, double the apple output and put that on all these bottom leaves that don't have apples, that would be really good. Ooh, I like the sheer cliff. I don't want to damage this. We could totally use that. Uh, anyways, what I was about to say about the wall, what we could do is have uh, every, like, corner or diagonal part of the wall be made of raw wood which is very expensive but then we'll have all the flat straight pieces be made out of cobblestone so that way it's not as expensive to build as any other material oh, we do have this whole swamp filled with tons of clay we could totally make it out of clay or not clay but bricks Although we would have to smell all the bricks, that's the problem. Which is kind of why I don't want to use stone either, because then we have to smell all the stone, which is so expensive and would take for so long. Uh-oh, it's night time. Let's go back. I need to bring a bed with me so I can sleep anywhere, but I need to get some wool. I don't want to destroy one of the villager beds. I need to go get some wool. Oh wait, we have wool up here. I could use that. would damage the market stalls, but considering we're going to make this place a lot better over time, it wouldn't be that bad. It's a temporary setback, but a necessary one. So I'm going to take this guy's little tent roof here, sorry. We're going to replace that in a bit. I'm going to need to get some more planks. So let's get... Uh, we'll toss these logs in here and get those smelting, and then we'll take three planks for making a bed real quick. There we go. Now we have a bed we can carry around to sleep. Put this bread here. Uh, put that away, put that away. This, this, this. Flax. I actually don't know what to do with flax either, so we'll put that away. Nightshade. Poisonous when eaten. Have a bunch of that in here. Lily pads, we want those. Oranges are food. Apples. Keep all of our apples together. Keep all of our charcoal together. Seeds, okay. I don't want to do a ton of inventory management right now. We'll do that later when we have more junk. More junk up in our trunk. I need sticks. 
like I just really need a bunch of sticks. So let's. Oh man! It, oh wow! The uh, the furnace is really smoking up the place in here. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, so now we can make more shovels and torches, which is very important. So shovels first. There we go. And now we want some torches. So do this and that. There we go. Bam! Bam! All right. We have torches, we have a bed, we need to cobble right now, but we will eventually. We just gotta keep chopping some, uh, some swamp trees. And, and all these other trees. Oh, we get sticks from the trees too, I forgot about that. Huh, I guess I don't need to turn all my planks into sticks. Is this a... Oh no, that's apple, that's the apple tree, alright. Okay. Uh, I kind of like the idea of making a brick wall. The brick wall will look a little bit more modern, which might betray the, uh, the quaint village look that we have going on at the moment. We'll see. Uh, I can make this back into clay. What other what other things can we do with clay? Isn't there a way you can like control shift click this or something? Clay. Right click. We can turn this into daub, whatever that is. What is that? No, what is that used for? Ooh. Interesting. Huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uncrafting. You can uncraft things in an uncrafting table. What? How do you get that? I need a maze map focus? Oh, dude. That's gonna be a pain in the dick to get. <laughs> what the fuck? Fucking maze map focus. Uh, but I mean, I guess that's that would be cool. That would be really useful. This just pulled up. Did this just pull up every recipe for crafting ever? I didn't want to do that. Uh, what else can we use clay to make? Dye electric paste. Metal golem template? Hole filler. Oh, there's the hole filler thing! Uh, what do we need for that? Dirt and clay. Uh, fills 500 blocks in a diameter of 12 at a speed of 100 blocks a second in 15 seconds. Free dirt true. Restricted false. Uh, a hole filled with... Curing blocks can be undone within 15 seconds by breaking any curing block. I don't know what that means. <coughs> Conduit binder composite. Hmm. Flippers increase swim speed. That's cool. We need like leather. Iguana leather. There's iguanas? Flippers would be nice. Uh, clay stone battery. Okay, there isn't really much we can do with clay. Oh wait, we didn't look at smelting. Smelt into bricks. Clayed glowstone. Interesting. Another kata. <laughs> okay. Primitive alloy smelting. Bulk blasting. Automated shapeless crafting. Automated packing. Packager. Uncrafting. Uh, where was the uh, the brick? Okay, let's right click on. What can we make with bricks? Planters. Oh fuck! Is it nighttime? No, it's just raining. Okay, well now it's gonna be real hard for me to tell if, when it's when it's nighttime. So, uh, 
clay pots. Lots of different pots. Uh, a brick chain. That's interesting. Brick lantern. Bulk haunting. We could get nether brick. But then we would have to go all the way to the nether. And that's, that's a whole ordeal right there. Um... I don't know, we'll make- we'll smelt a few bricks, and we'll see how we feel about how that looks. Uh, in the meantime, we'll- we'll gather a bunch of clay. Uh, we'll stop with that much clay, because we have a lot of it just with that much. Another elderberry. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. More of this stuff. More of this good wood. Good wood. Uh, we could also probably get seaweed and make some seaweed uh, block things. Yes, oak saplings, we need those. Those are important for making more apple trees. Alright. Chopping away lots and lots of forest. Or swamp, swamp forest anyways. We'll make the swamp easier to traverse. Where you can actually see through the swamp easier. Yum 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 yum. Chomping bread with my teeth. Up. Oh. I am really excited to build the uh, the city larger. I'm really anxious to get it started because. Uh, I don't want anything to happen to our villagers uh, before we can build the uh, all the protective stuff, like a wall and the torches and everything. Ooh, that, we got two apples from that tree, too. Okay, got some more saplings. Whoa, look at all this stuff. These trees are a fucking gold mine. I really hate being in this swamp where the ground is so uneven and there's so much water everywhere. At least we get lily pads and there's clay if we want that for bricks. And I don't know what salt's good for, but if we need salt at any point, we're fucking loaded on that. Oh, I think it's getting dark. Is it getting dark or is that just me? It's really hard to tell with so much rain. Uh, axe. Oh, dude, it's definitely getting dark. There we go. That's better. Okay. And it's not raining anymore. Sweet. There was one mod I saw at one point a while ago that was like, when it rains it adds puddles everywhere. And I kind of liked that. It would add more, add more effect to rain, because right now rain doesn't do anything at all. There should really be more mods that make rain do things, like, when it's raining your crops grow faster or something like that. So people are like, oh yeah, rain, you know? the puddle thing, or um, maybe uh, maybe mobs don't have, like, can't aggro on you from as far away when it's raining or something like that. Like, reduced aggro range on enemy mobs. 
so that way, like, because it would make sense, because the rain is noisy, you know, they can't hear you as good. And the, it might be heavy rain, so they can't, they can't see you through the thick rain as easily. That would be cool. All this stuff, yes. All this stuff. So many saplings, we're gonna make tons of apple trees in our apple city. We're getting lots of wood as well, we've already got a full stack of it. It would be easier... Ugh, man. Uh, it would be easier to get more wood if this wasn't a swamp, constantly wading through all this water, but we are getting a lot of drops from these anyways. Let's chop down all these trees that aren't in the water, that would be easier. And I'm really thankful that all these trees are just short enough that I don't end up with a block floating in the sky. That's very useful, I don't have to put down, you know, do the old put down dirt blocks under your feet so you can pick up the last piece of wood. That's the one thing I kind of don't like about the the trees and the snow biomes is that they're too tall so you can't chop them from as far. I really want a mod that, that fixes that issue. I wish there was a mod that made your uh, your mining distance way longer. Like just you could hit things from way further. That would be so useful. Because there's a similar thing to that in, uh, like, Factorio. Factorio has, like, an infinite reach mod and stuff like that, where you can interact with objects from anywhere on your screen. That would be so nice to have in Minecraft. Then you could chop trees from everywhere. It would be so much easier. It might be annoying in cases where you need to do something with your hands, though. But besides that, it would be very nice to have. Some more charcoal, that's good. Uh, some more of these plants and things. We're going to need to start putting stuff in another chest here. Uh, let's get a dirt chest started, because we have shit tons of dirt. There we go, dirt chest. That made a lot of room. Uh, I don't know what to do with canola. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. We have loads of food. We're good, we're good right now. Apple trees are growing apples and everything like that. Things are going well right now. I hate this one tree that's right in the middle here. Let's get rid of that. Bugging me, bugging my eyes. I'll also collect all these lily pads, because these will be very useful for making things with water. Because uh, I do want to... I do like to build things, like fountains and stuff like that, but the problem is that the water... You can't traverse it, you know, so it limits your path abilities. But if you get lily pads, it fixes that problem a lot. So we can make, like, little fountains and stuff, that'll be fun. <clears throat> You can also put these on all the village farms, which will make uh, walking around pretty easy too. You can just jump around, jump through all the farms and everything like that. Get this, get this. I did see something over there. I was like, did I see something over there? And I did. Whenever we do start making our own farms, uh, we are going to have some massive farms of all kinds of different crops because we have a bunch of different seeds. Look at all the saplings! Oh my god, dude. Dude, these drop rates drop rates have to be higher or something. Maybe it's just these modded berries and stuff that make it look like there's more than normal. But I swear there's got to be more saplings than normal. That's like 10 saplings from one tree. That's nuts. Oh, and a bunch of it even fell down here. This little swamp ravine here. Uh, 
do I get back up? Up here. And then leap of faith. Oh, I didn't have enough faith. Okay. Uh, let's go around the salt edge here. And then chop all this. We're going to need a lot of wood. Just for all kinds of things. Building. Making charcoal. Uh, you know, all the charcoal we're going to need for torches. Because mining coal is not going to be very reliant. Uh, based on my experience from the last world I was playing on. On the vanilla Minecraft. Doing this should ensure that we get more junk, you know? More junk up in our trunk. Okay. That. Let's get all of this. Okay, cool. Give me these lily pads. I feel like flax is going to be important for something. Like, I'm going to need to grow flax to make a fiber of some sort, and then I'll need that specific flax fiber thingy to do something. There's also these dead bushes we can get sticks from, I forgot about that. Uh, get all of this stuff. I can see all of the different drops from these other trees we chopped down, I'll pick those up in a second. stuff. There's another thing there. Give me that lily pad, bitch. Canola seeds. Man, our inventory just fills up with so much crap. We need to find out how to make like, like those backpacks or whatever that I saw in one of the mods when we were looking at this before. Give me all that junk. Hell yeah. some sugar cane there. We don't need sugar cane though. We, were, we got a bunch of it in our chest already, so whenever we want to start a sugar cane farm it won't be difficult. We just need an area like this. This would be the perfect area to farm a bunch of sugar cane. It's got tons of water and coastline. We could turn the whole swamp into a sugar cane farm. That would be cool. The only problem with making a sugar cane farm in this this style is that uh, creepers and stuff can hide in the reeds real easy, which is uh, very scary. When you're just chopping your sugar cane and then a creeper rolls right up to you. Or swims right up to you in this case. Did I just... I turned around and this guy magically appeared. This guy's a wandering trader. Two diamonds for some diamond... Particles? Ah. What are particles? Beetroot seeds and mushroom seeds for panda ah. seeds? Crop type panda? What the hell is that? Huh? Huh? I have like the odd feeling that, that huh? those things are useful, but I, I just don't know what, what for right now, so... I also don't have the ability to get whatever he's selling, so... Huh? Oh shit, it's nighttime. It's nighttime. It's nighttime. Sleep. How low does the sun have to be for you to sleep? It's gotta be that low. Like, it's gotta, like, actually touch touch the horizon for you to sleep okay get all of this stuff yoink all right let's um do we want to keep mining these swamp trees? They're kind of annoying. Uh, 
Uh, maybe. There's a couple of them still on land, which I want to get. Because the swamp will be a lot more useful to us without all the swamp trees around. Like I said, we can make the sugar cane and everything like that. And also, if we're running away from monsters at like nighttime or something, I don't want to get stuck in all these vines from the trees. That would be useful. Uh, I've got some apples. Yoink. Yoink. Ooh, bunch of junk here. Ooh, bunch of junk. Lots of junk. I love junk. I'm a big fan of junk. Alright, get all this good stuff. Got a lot of wood right now. Okay. I think we got a solid game plan for how we want to figure out the rest of the village. So, uh, let me collect all this stuff real quick. Uh, yeah. I'm content with this progress so far. Let's hop back up to the village and we'll wrap up this, this stream real quick. You know, these aren't like the official stream streams, you know, we're still gonna have the main stream for today go on later. So stay tuned for that, but I'm just playing Minecraft, so... I figured I would stream myself playing other games, because why not, you know? More stuff for you guys to watch. Uh, let me put this away. All this other junk I got. This, this, this. These, 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 these. This, this, this. This. Lots of apples. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, be sure to follow. There's more Minecraft coming in the future, I'm sure. I'm enjoying it right now, and I want to build a wall around our village and expand the village and make a bunch of village houses and figure out how to get the villages to populate and stuff like that so we can have more villagers that'll be fun but uh yeah i'll be back later today with the uh the mainstream what are we what, are we, what is it what are we uh what are we what are we what are we what it's uh it's gonna be Uh, I can't see, uh, Morrowind, we did Sims 3 Morrowind, okay, Xenonauts 2, yeah, <laughs> Xenonauts 2 is today, sorry, I'm losing track of it, now I'm doing Minecraft, and I was playing Battlefield 1, it's hard to keep track of it, but yeah, uh, I'll see you guys later, bye-bye.